want to thank you for coming out and then uh, taking time to do a walk with Mark Fenton. And we're working on walkability and trying to find ways to make diaries more, more accessible for walking and biking. So uh, Mark Fenton is a nationally known uh, walkability expert. Transportation is his thing. And I'm going to turn it over to him and let him kind of tell you what we're going to do this morning. I think the real goal is to build a community that's so inviting people are out walking and bicycling and being physically active all the time without thinking about it because we've done such a good job. Okay? So that's the win from a public health standpoint. And by the way, that's the downtown businesses and they'll say, oh, that's a big win from an economic standpoint too because if these streets are populated with people walking and bicycling all the time, they're all potential customers. Public health, environmental health, economic health by building a more walkable, bicycle-friendly environment. As much as anything, I wanted to demonstrate to you how we do these walks. Because if you do walking events and things like that, I think one of the tricks is we did them as a kind of exercise activity, so the walk across Tennessee and things like that. That's great, but I think they can be learning experiences and even planning experiences too. My observation, and having done lots of these around the country, is it's amazing what happens when we get out and walk shoulder to shoulder, experience the environment, and say, wow, it wouldn't take that much to make a modest change here or there. I'm gonna just pass my hand over the group like this, and when my hand is pointing toward you, shout your number out loud so everybody can hear it. It's just a way for us, there's no right or wrong. Five, six, five, six, six, five, six three, four, three. Five, six, three. Five, six, three. Because that's how we need to think about what the incremental improvements are. And it's not always about a $2 million grant. It's about what could a volunteer group around, do around this section of path or trail or sidewalk? What could a group do around some bike uh, parking or some signage? Let's keep walking. I just wanted you to see how you do the exercise. Now we'll go a longer distance before we stop again. This is, to me, a critical destination. The existing farmer's market, but the, the vision for what you guys are gonna do here. And to have this as a key destination along the river, this close to downtown, there are communities that would beg for this kind of proximity between their downtown core and this sort of an asset. <laughs> so Randy, are we, where are we heading next? We're there he is, all right, we're gonna follow Randy. <laughs> So another tactic we use, rather than just do the one to 10 thing, we just say, compared to the last segment, was the person we just walked about the same, worse, or better. So it's a quick kind of snapshot view. So do it right now, same, worse. Now it sounds like we're being nitpicky, but it's good to kind of know this stuff. So you build a list and you say, over time, what do we want to improve? Walkabouts help you sort of start to knit it all together into a system uh, uh, and, and to develop a real long-term vision and plan for the community too. And I'll look forward to and all of you who are planning to stay. Uh, we're, gonna have a, we're gonna have a good morning here. We're gonna have a good session, so I look forward to that. Great, thank you guys. Thanks very much for coming. Thank Thanks you. for walking. Yeah, thank you.